Yeah. 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 Real good to see you. Hey, Bill Collins. Jack Barry. Well, Bill, What are you doing here? Well, I tell you, uh... Well, you, no, you go ahead. You no, 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 you, you take it, Bill. Go ahead. Oh, all, right. all right, then, I'll start. I'll tell you. Uh, I'm here to tell the crew at Sunshine Biscuits that starting in September, I'm going to be helping them sell all those wonderful sunshine cookies and crackers on my wonderful Price is Right Coast to Coast show on the National Broadcasting Company Pipe Network. Well, what do you know about that? That's why I'm here, too, to mm -hmm. let those same folks know that starting Friday, September the 19th, I'll be selling those sensational Sunshine products, too, on uh, my sensational network television show, Tic-Tac-Toe. Well, Jack, I'm happy about that, and I sure hope the Sunshine folks like me and my show in that order. Oh, are you kidding, Bill? Why, you'll sell a slew of those crispy saltines, Hydrox cookies, and hi-ho crackers. After all, The Price is Right is the show for smart shoppers who know value, isn't it? Oh, absolutely right, Jackson. You see, our contestants bid on the value of a prize, and the folks at home, you know how it works. They oh, try sure, out. Yes, sure. sir. Sure. Well, with four million shopping experts tune in every time you're on, you got it made. They buy a good thing when they see it. Well, then they'll really be seeing good things, too, in our Sunshine commercials. They'll be seeing a thousand and one ways, for instance, to use uh, crispy saltines. I love that selling line, the saltine of a thousand and one uses. Isn't that good? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like part of Sherazade, doesn't it? Uh, and they'll also be seeing uh, lots of treats served with that unbeatable, eatable cookie, Sunshine Hydrox. Yeah, did you know that Hydrox is the original, <laughs> the original cream-filled chocolate cookie? <laughs> well, for 50 years, the fine is made. And how about all the tasty attractions they'll see, starring Sunshine High ho Oh, yeah, that's the all-round, round cracker. Now, there is a catchy slogan that'll catch plenty of customers for both of us, I'll wager. Uh, come to think of it, Sunshine has given us uh, everything just to keep the customers coming. Yeah, well, terrific selling themes, mm -hmm. terrific products. And a terrific salesman like uh, television's Jack Barry on the National Broadcasting Company's top quiz show, uh, Tic-Tac-Toe. <laughs> You're just saying that, Bill. No, no, you've got just about the most loyal audience in daytime TV, I'll bet you. Well, it's true that a great many people do like to play tic-tac-toe, and when each box is worth lots of dough, boy, it's a real exciting game. Well, you know, Jack, the way I hear it, those housewives aren't only sold on your show, but on the products you sell. Why, why you'll be moving those sunshine biscuits off the shelves like mad. You know, I think it's a shame that you fellas on the Sunshine Sales Force won't be able to see our show too often, because you'll be out there working hard for sunshine exactly the same time we are, and while you're out in the stores putting those fine sunshine products on the shelves, we'll be on the television screen getting them off the shelves. So what do you say, Bill? Wouldn't it be a, a good idea to show the boys what our shows are like right now? Real good. Let her roll. Take it away, Bill Cullen. Everybody all ready? Oh, yes, Watch the turntable. Here's our next item going up for bids on The Price is Right. It's High Fidelity. <laughs> The Magnavox Serenade Hi-Fi Phonograph and Radio Combination. It has three speakers, an AM-FM radio, and record storage space. A sliding glass top for easy access to automatic four-speed record changer with diamond stylus. All in a handsome provincial hand-rub cherry cabinet. Price Authority, Magnavox Company. There you are. I'm going to learn to be... Thank you, Beverly. I'm going to learn to be one of those there models uh, yet, if everything works. All right, we're going to begin with position number three. That is Mrs. Sotak down there. So you start any old place you want, Mrs. Sotak. Well, Bill, I would say I'll bid $300, Bill. 300 all right. Now, any of the other people on the first bid may underbid if you want. I'm not suggesting you do. I don't know anything. Miss Alicio, how about you from River Edge? I'll say... Um... Bill. Thank you, Doris. That's back to you, champion Mrs. Davenport. Anywhere you want to go to start. Five seconds. It's, it certainly is pretty. Yes, ma'am. I, I would, I'll say 360, Bill. All right. Mr. Calder? Bill, I was hoping I'd get one in for my wedding present, but I'll bid uh, $400 even. Right and now. give it to yourself for your wedding yes, present sir. if you win. All right, back to you, Miss Sotak. Tops four, your three. I'll, ch I'll say about... Bill. No, 400 is already bid. 425, Bill. Okay, Miss Sotak, thank you, ma'am. Miss Alicio? I'll take 425, Bill. No, 425 is already bid. 430, Bill. 430. We're, we're one bid behind here. Uh, Miss uh, Davenport, three, you're 360, and 430 has already been bid. <laughs> Five seconds. 440. 440. 
Mr. Calder, you're 400. There's the buzzer. This is your last bid. Tops $440. I'll go 441, Bill. All right, Miss Sotak, you're 425. Tops 441. This is your last bid. I'll go 460, Bill. Okay, Miss Alicio, top is 460. I'll freeze, Bill. Freeze. I'll freeze. Okay, Miss Davenport, you're 440. Tops 460. Yours is the last bid in the game. 465. 465 does it, and here are the bids from left to right. Champion at 465, Mr. Calder at 441, 460 for Mrs. Sotak, and 430 for Mrs. Alicio. That's what you're bidding on right here, or this is that on which you're bidding, but that sounds uncomfortable. Do we have a winner? Actual retail value, $435, Mrs. Alicio. <laughs> Atta boy, the price is right, and the show is right for selling sunshine cookies and crackers. Yes, sir, and we're sure going to be in there pitching, because, you know, daytime's the right time to sell the gal who buys the biscuits. Right, Bill, and our morning lineup reaches millions of loyal viewers and shoppers every single weekday. Well, now then, Jackson, let's show the boys uh, why your tic-tac-doe will help them make dough. Oh, that was clever. Camera, action. Has anybody commented again on the fact that you look like Tex McCreary on camera? I notice you do down here in the studio. Does he look like Tex McCreary to you people in the studio audience? He does, doesn't he? I wish he looked more like Jinx Falkenberg, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you, Bill, a chance to look at the tic-tac-toe board. Look at the categories, if you will. You have $1,600 at stake. If you quit, you get a check for $1,600. If you go on, you take a risk, because if you lose, whatever you lose will be deducted from your $1,600. What will you do? I'm going ahead. You're playing. Very good. Now we go. Sorry, risking sixteen hundred dollars. Where do you go with your first X? Um, ten names. Ten names up on top, and here is the question: The real name of the author of Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea was M. Olchowitz. What was his pen name? His pen name was Gilles Verne. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, next, <laughs> that was his French pen name. Where do you want to go with your own, Mr. Markham? I'll take uh, political leaders. That's the tough question in the center box, political leaders. If you need extra time, you may have it. General Alfredo Stressner is the ruler of the only country on the South American continent with a one-man dictatorship. S-T-R-O-E-S-S-N-E-R, -E -S -S -E Stressner. Name the country he rules. Want to think about it, or do you know? I'll have to think. I'll tell you when your time is up. Your own center box name, the country he rules. Well, I had to think I'll have to guess. Paraguay. That's a good guess. That's right. You got to know. The game is three and out. <laughs> End of the round. Let's go to the next round. <laughs> Time for another X. Where will it be, Bill Clary? I'm going to take the 20s. The 20s down at the bottom. All right. Here's question on the 20s. Lev Brunch Brunstein, a leader in the 1917 Russian Revolution, was exiled from the USSR in 1928 by Stalin. What was the more famous name of this man? Leo Trotsky. Trotsky is right. You get an extra name in the What do you want to go with your O, Mr. Martin? Looks like I have to go to uh, George Washington. That's right. In order to block him from getting three X's up and down and winning another game. The Treasury Department... Oh, isn't this nice? About your very own department. The Treasury Department was organized by an act of Congress on September 2nd, 1789, and President Washington commissioned the first Secretary of the Treasury on September 11th of that same year. If you miss this question, you'll probably lose your job, too. <laughs> Name the first Secretary of the Treasury. Alexander Hamilton. You lucky boy. You get the stuff away. Let's go to the next round. Where do you go with your next X, Bill? I'll take the 20s again. The 20s. Listen to what the audience did. The 20s. The 20s. All right, here's your question on the 20s. <laughs> you see a little mistake you may yeah, have I made? Do. Now you see it. The audience sees Too it late. and everybody sees it, and I wish I saw it. Yeah, I do see it. In what month in 1929 did the great American stock market crash occur? I think in October. Right, you got yourself an extra game of the $600. And now, Mr. Markham, where do you want to go? I'll try political leaders. You took the vacancy created by your opponent, 
in a little tactical error. If you answer this correctly, you will have three O's across. The game will go to $700, which you will win and become the new champion. Name the famous political leader and doctor who was the first provisional president of the new Chinese Republic until he resigned in 1912. A right answer will get you $700. Sun Yat Sen. That's Tic Tac Joe for $700. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Mr. Markham. You just won yourself $700 and the right to continue. Bill, you had $1,600. This is a pretty big blow. You lose $700 of it back, so you're left with $900. Would you stand up there and tell me what you're going to do with the $900? I don't know. I'll probably put it in savings. But it's a nice dilemma anyhow. Yes, it's a tough <laughs> one, isn't it? A check for $900 will be yours. Our congratulations to you, and thank you for playing. Goodbye. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Well, there you have it, gang. The Price is Right and Tic Tac Doe, two top uh, network TV shows selling for the Sunshine Team every single week. And what a team. 2,000 sales managers, district managers, and salesmen all pulling for Sunshine Biscuits. Make that 2,002. Hey, that's right. I'll tell you what. So let's get the shows on the road. You put those Sunshine products on the shelves and in special displays for us to move off, right? Then you'll be busy putting them back on again. And that'll keep us busy moving them off again, you see? Well, Bill, is there anything else we forgot? We cover everything? Well, gee, uh, I can't think of anything. We'll see you all on The Price is Right starting in September. Right, and uh, I'll be seeing you on Tic Tac Doe in the fall and all through the winter, too. And we'll both be seeing how fast we can keep those sunshine cookies and crackers moving into our audience's homes. So you make them easy to find and easy to buy at your retailer's shelves and in special displays because your brand is great. Sensational. And The Price is Right. So let's Tic Tac Go. All right, real fast. Wrap it up. Thank you.